All right, here we are on the InfoWars. UN, Israel is committing unprecedented crimes against children in the Middle East. Okay, well, let's uh, get into it. Mass yeetings and arbitrary detentions are among the precautions of choice that Israel routinely deploys against its Palestinian neighbors, the committee found. The outrageous death of children is almost historically unique, said Brigi Godberson, vice chair of the Committee on the Rights of the Children, CRC. This is an extremely dark place in history. Okay, are you going to do anything about it, or are you just going to talk, talk, talk? I don't think we have seen before a violation that is so massive as we've seen in Gaza. There are extremely grave violations that we do not often see. On Thursday, the CRC, which monitors compliance of state parties to the 1989 United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Children, released its findings to the six nations that are parties to the treaty, including Israel. The report contains a statement from the committee members who say they are greatly concerned about the high number of children in Gaza yeeted, maimed, injured, missing, displaced, orphaned, and subjected to famine, malnutrition, and disease. And why? Because they're right in the middle of a war zone. And this stuff happens every three or four years Israel and Hamas go at it. Another heinously cruel thing that Israel does to Palestinians is play recordings of crying children to lure well-meaning parents and adults into the streets so IDF can yeet them. Oh crap, if that is true, that's pretty heinous. The CRC wants Israel to immediately release all Palestinian children in arbitrary detention and halt the practice entirely. So wait, Israel is detaining children. Okay. Um, tell me, what's going to happen to these children when they're released, I wonder? The group also wants Israel to abolish the institutionalized system of detention and the use of torture and ill treatment against them at all stages of the judiciary procedure. Yeah, torture is bad, but... If they release them from detention, where are these kids going to go? They'll be right back in a war zone, won't they? Israel's entire war regime runs counter to that of pretty much every other country on Earth. Since last October, Israel has end ended the lives of some 16,700 Palestinian children. Is that horrible? Yes. But it is according to a Gaza-based government, government media office, so are they telling the truth? You don't know. The International Committee of the Red Cross also says that more than 20,000 Palestinian children are missing. Okay, so the Red Cross has more validity. Israel also has a pension for yeeting Palestinian health workers and journalists. One of the most recent to, to be yeeted, journalist Abdullah Shakshik, probably said that wrong, who was shot and yeeted by an Israeli military quadcopter in Rafa. So the Gaza media office is also calling on media organizations to deter the occupation. Pressure Israel in international courts for its ongoing crimes and pressure them to stop the geno and the yeeting of Palestinian journalists. They even wrote a letter to the EU and more than 60 international media organizations calling on anyone who is able to take action against the Israel authorities, unprecedented yeeting of journalists and other violations of media freedom. Yeah, so again, is anything going to come of it? No. And why? Israel's going to say that they're going after Hamas. Hamas is a terrorist organization. Palestinians are caught in the middle. So, what can you do? 
Well, the only one who could do anything about it is the U.S. government, and they're pro-Israel, last I heard. When I read articles like this, I know deep down, or no, not very deep down, that as soon as a ceasefire is signed, give it three or four years and they'll be doing it again. Anyway, that's it for my thoughts on the matter. Take care out there in clown world.